All right. Okay. Thank Let's you so go. much for having us. Thank you. So. Let's go way back, the early beginnings. Uh, what are your main influences as a drummer? Uh, the very beginning, I would say until now, it's my main influence. It's uh, Bill Ward from Black Sabbath. And then, of course, on the way, there's many different drummers that influence me from, uh, I don't know, like Dave Lombardo and Stuart Copeland from Police, all different guys, but my, my first like real big influence is Bill Ward. Mm -hmm. Nowadays you have Bill Ward's face on your drum, yeah. drum kit, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, a, I don't know, a homage to him. Tribute. I mean, exactly. A tribute in a way, and also the fact that they left him out of the, the, reunion, thing. the reunion thing. I felt really uh, bummed. I was like, because for me, he's, he's as important as any of the other guys, mm -hmm. like his contribution. Yeah, sure. Even like uh, on, I went to see uh, on Hyde Park, they had a show in SoFly play, and I went to see uh, SoFly, I, I play a bit with Max, and then uh, I saw a little bit of a Motorhead, Fate No More, and then when Black Sabbath was going to play, I left. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to see really? it. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just for me, it's my personal. Mm feeling i was like fuck this you know if, they, if he's not playing i'm not i don't want to see it they are they are playing with a aussie drummer i think right i think so yeah, yeah. somebody that doesn't do the job <laughs> that's for sure in my opinion again All right so what do you think of uh, metal drumming nowadays you know the, 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 so fast like i mean it's cool it's just different styles you know like the whole super mathematical drumming Meshuga, for example. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's really cool. For me, I, I like different styles of drumming. I like more, uh, I don't know how can I say, more groove mm -hmm. in a way with a lot of uh, a lot of energy on it. Now, I'm not so big into the fast technical drumming. It's For me, it doesn't really do the, you know. Doesn't please you. No, no. In the, it's, it's almost like it's too much of a... It's like a guitar solo. Mm -hmm. I'm not really. I hate guitar solos. No, I, I like riffs yeah. more than guitar solos. For me, they're they're like useless. I don't think they should exist. But some people like it. But I like riffs. I like you know more of the feeling than if you like a, you're a monkey in a in a circus when you do like a guitar solo or <laughs> or the drumming that is too technical. It doesn't have any feeling, in my opinion. And what about drum solos? Yeah, same thing. Same. Uh, they're stupid. <laughs> I mean, I hate it. I mean, of course, it's cool to see somebody that does really cool drum solo, like especially the old school guys, like uh, I don't know, Jim Krupa and all those, you know, like '50s, '60s guys. But when I go to the show, if a guy start doing a drum solo, usually that's the time for me to. Drink a beer or go yeah. to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go. It's time for me to, to be in the bathroom or even going home. So so I'm not big in a drum solo. <laughs> All right. um, where are the plans for Remix Hell nowadays? Well, we're actually writing a lot of new stuff, releasing a few things. We did a, a split EP mm -hmm. with, a, with a stoner band from, uh, from London called Dead Pirates where we make one of their songs uh, more electronic and they made one of our electronic songs more like stoner. So that was kind of like a, a cool collaboration with a really young new band from, uh, from London. So, and then we have a few other EPs and, and things lined up and also writing full material for a, for a record. So it's a lot of work and also playing shows you have some tour schedule already? Not really tour because this year I decided to do a lot of Cavalera stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like doing any extensive tour with, for Mix Hell this year. Mm -hmm. Just shows as they come along, but not like a, a massive tour. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year when we slow down a little more with Cavalera, I can focus more on Mix Hell. Mm -hmm. For the people who don't know Mix, mix Hell, this is like a mix uh, with uh, electronic music, with yeah. tribal percussion. Can yeah. you explain a little bit? Well, I started Mix Hell, I think, almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. 
and it's me and my wife. She does a lot of production and she also plays the synthesizers. And I play the drums and produce music with her in the studio. And our music, it's, it's a mix, like you said, of uh, electronic music with uh, tribal uh, beats, a bit of uh, different styles of electronic music, mm -hmm. more dark and some of it a bit more, I don't know, like uh, with different influence from techno and also dance music also mm -hmm. in it. So it's a, it's a fun project mm -hmm. to do. It's very different from your previous bands. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's very different. And, and that's why I, I really enjoy it. You know, I think every musician should have more, more than one thing. It, it's, it's a lot of fun doing it. You can experiment a lot with it and also give you more focus. For example, when I do play now with Cavalera, I don't try to do stuff that I do with Mixel on the Cavalera. So I think it's cool in the sense that you can let, have separate things for separate projects. Mm -hmm. You know, try to do everything one time, you know, and it can become a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. You stopped talking to Max for like 10 years, nine years. What made you call, calling him? Because you made that first call, right? Actually, it's funny because my wife, she came up to me and she was like, I was, I was... Your current wife or? Yeah, my current wife. She, and I already had left Sepultura. And we just had uh, our son. And my wife was like, man, this is crazy. You know, Max needs to know our new son and you don't talk to him. You should, you know, call him up and, you know, get the family together. And I was like, yeah. So I decided to give him a call. And then from that phone call, I pay a visit to him in Phoenix, you know, and then our family got a bit together. And then after that, he invited me to do a Cavalera Conspiracy. But at first, I didn't want to do any, any music. I just wanted to have him back as my brother. That was the main thing. Were you nervous when you were about to make that call? Not really nervous because I was like, I have nothing to lose because life is too short. So I need to, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. So I was not, not really nervous. I was more like focused on doing it. And what was your first thought uh, when Mask, Max asked you to start Color Conspiracy? Well, I, I kind of like had a feeling he was going to ask me. <laughs> Max is very musical in yeah. that sense. He, does, he never stops. He yeah. always has <laughs> stuff. So I was like, I know that's going to... And I also had in the back of my mind and I was like, man, I hope we can do something that it's new. Because otherwise I didn't want to do it because I just left Sepultura. I did, didn't want to keep doing what I was doing for the last years. So I was really glad when he called me and he was like, yeah, let's do a new project. Just, you know, me and you and then we can invite some people to be part of it and play whatever we want. And then I was like, yes, I accept it like right away because mm -hmm. it was like, OK, this is the future. It's not the past. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's very important. It's like, we're really proud uh, of our past, but uh, we don't want to be uh, slaves to our past and just playing whatever we did 20 years ago. We want to do write new music, put new records, and then move on. Mm -hmm. So that was the main idea behind Cavalera. Were you bored of playing with Sepultura back in 06 when you left the band? I was really bored. It felt like a job, you know, like I was going to the bank and I was like, fuck, I have to go. And, and I really hate it to the point that I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. So that's, that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. With Cavalera, it's a complete different thing. I, I really enjoy doing the tours and, and playing the shows, you know. It, it's tough sometimes, like with the traveling and everything. Yeah. But the shows itself, it's always amazing. Mm -hmm. It's always fun. Were you... Uh tired of the musical direction back in, I don't know, Dante 21? The last Probably, radio. also. Music, that's one of the reasons also I jumped into doing a mix hell. I was trying to make different things. I was a bit bored mm -hmm. with, the, with the whole music scene. Now, which one's your favorite record from, with their recon vocals? I don't know. I don't have a favorite records of any. <laughs> any so, no, I have favorite songs, but not a full record. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, did you have the chance to see Eloy Casagrande playing with Sepultura? No, man. No? I, I, don't, I don't like talking about but dead people. All right. They're dead, you know. All right. it, it's not fair. 
Mm -hmm. All right. And this is your second time in Lima, right? And what can you expect? It's it's been eleven years. Yeah, it's a long one. time. Yeah. What do you expect for for the show? I think it's gonna be great. You know, like we've been getting a lot of really cool uh, feedback from fans on, on social media about mm -hmm. the show tonight. So I think it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. We prepare a very, very cool uh, set list mm -hmm. for tonight. Me and Max have been working on this for many months. And we did some of the stuff in, in America, some in, in Brazil. So we came up with something that is going to be really, really mm -hmm. special for tonight. Mm -hmm. With this new record with Cavalera, uh, Pandemonium, it sounds uh, much more into death metal, and maybe a little bit of grindcore. Uh, what was the motivation to write such, such a heavy record? It's, it's weird because it's... We don't really talk about it, like me and Max, when we wrote, it just, it comes out. And that's how we were feeling at that time when we did Pandemonium. I don't know what's going to happen on the, on the next record, mm -hmm. but it's very, it's just a reflection at the time that me and Max wanted to write something, you know, more uh, direct, maybe more raw. The recording is very, very raw, so it was, yeah. it was fun to do it, mm -hmm. but there was no plan. We didn't go like before in the studio, like, yes, we need to write faster or whatever. Like, there was no talk. A natural yeah, thing. Yeah, we just start playing and, and that's how it came out, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, I think that you are uh, a bit more influenced in punk or in hardcore with Cavalier Conspiracy because your drumming is much, uh, let's say, direct, straight, a bit more yeah. simple. Uh, with this, like, you were tired of, of doing this feels that you were doing in the past? or No, I, I mean, I love it. It's just the direction that I wanted to do with Cavalera. It was something that I wanted to play very minimal, minimalistic mm -hmm. with the drums. And that's, that's it fits with, with Cavalera how we do it. It's very direct. But, you know, I, I still love all, all the old, more like metal influence drumming too with a lot of rows and toms and things like that. Mm -hmm. You're a drum kid. What, last question. Your drum kit got smaller too. Yeah, I like to mess with my drums. Like every few years, I, I change things around. I did that in the past, you know, for many years. And then for this, I was like, yeah, let's shrink my drums as much as possible to see how can I play with very few uh, pieces. So we took a bunch of cymbals out, uh, one kick drum, and it's very, I think that's the the minimal that I can go with it. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe in the future I'll, I'll play even less, but now that's how I, I really enjoy playing it. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.